Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. And today we have a video of some news that has been here in the U.S. that we feel like yeah. really is in favor of India against China and is going to help hopefully India in the long run. This is just our opinions on how yeah. we're reading the news. Um, we know as U.S. is, and we are part of the U.S., is a very opportunist country, you know, so if it helps them while helping you, you know, that is kind of how the U.S. runs. But we feel like, you know, India and, and the U.S. have gotten really close in the last few years, Friends, and this is probably yeah. the closest they've been in history. Ever. This is the time. You know, we are sad, so sad about the soldiers that lost their lives horrifically um, to the China, to China at the border. But this is not the time for bloodshed because China no. will get the world on their side and you guys share a border. You need to play the card politically. Yes. This is the time to hopefully what we are seeing here in the U.S. for for it will help india politically and and kind of get everybody on their side you need to get these big players um to kind of help you in this political chess game is what i'm going to call it yeah. against china um you know play the game politically but don't be first this is the thing where don't be the one to come out first you know u.s has some things coming out you know they've been talking support the u.s after they've at these today. bills across yeah. or you know russia or any of these big big countries that china is a little bit won't start war with as much this is you know you got to play the game and this we feel yeah. like is a golden opportunity to play the game if you play the game right you know made in india she will hopefully be the next big thing and it will boost your economy and start jobs and it will be you know, the alternative to Made in China. You know, um, there's just so many things. So we're gonna play this video, but we wanted to let you know, like, this is how we are perceiving it um, here at the Jan family, what we've seen in the news, and um, we wanted to share it with you. Yeah. So this is the U.S. perspective on the status of India and China standoff and the other countries that are kind of involved. Yeah. The Chinese Communist Party decreed an end to freedom in Hong Kong, violating a UN registered treaty on right. the rights of its citizens. Many. One of just many international treaties that the Chinese Communist Party has violated. General Secretary Xi has greenlighted a brutal campaign of repression against Chinese Muslims, a human rights violations on a scale we have not seen like since him. World War II. That's crazy. The PLA has escalated border tensions. We see them today in India, the world's most popular, populous democracy. We watch as it militarizes the South China Sea and illegally claims more territory there, threatening vital sea lanes, a promise it broke again. Lots of promises it's broken. But the CCP isn't yeah. just a rogue actor in its own neighborhood. If it was, we might think differently about it. It, it impacts us all. It mm -hmm. lied about the coronavirus and it led spread to the rest of the world while pressuring the World Health Organization to assist in a cover-up campaign. By the way, a failure of transparency that continues again even and again today. The lies. Yeah. Now hundreds of thousands of people have died and the global economy is decimated. Even now, months into the pandemic, we don't have access to a live virus, we don't have access to facilities, and information about patients in December in Wuhan remains unavailable. Yeah, secrets. Mm-hmm. It's pushing disinformation and malicious cyber campaigns to undermine our governments, to drive a wedge between the United States and Europe. Yeah.
fair trade. It's free trade right now. Yeah. This really gives, I think, a picture. Really you know, hits the point. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of different factors involved in all of this. You know, U.S. has ties in all of these countries. But right now, the one country that is the most similar to our country is the largest democracy in the world. Yeah. You know, this is where, and Trump and Modi are are really close, it seems, like with um, what they agree upon, some of the policies, working more together. This is the time. So if this Tibet bill goes through, if Trump signs it and, it and it passes and goes through, like India can celebrate, but after it's put on the table, like after it's been signed. These are kind of the things like you need to get some of these bigger countries to kind of and, and side with them. To speak out first. You need mm -hmm. to have the bigger countries speak out speak. first so you can side with them. Because if you speak out first, it's not going to go well in your side. No. Unfortunately, your borders are not your friends. The friends around you, around your border, are not your friends right now. So and we don't think... We think you, you should do this mostly politically, by your wallet. Like, play the political chess game. You guys are yeah. smart. Play, play the card. political chess game. You have to, but you need these big countries' support behind you, and you can't make the first move. I think if you, India makes the first move, China is going to start all-out war. Someone like, some, someone like U.S. or some big country needs yeah, to speak UK, out first. Russia, if all these bigger countries speak out against China, put policies like freeing Tibet, put policies freeing Hong Kong, slow the trade down or stop the trade altogether. Yeah. You know, it shouldn't be free trade for China. It should be fair trade. You can't be making $500 billion. $500 billion dollars each year. To China, that, there are so many people here that don't have food, that don't have a place to live, that it's that... Like, that's crazy about that much money is going to one country mm -hmm. every year. And and we're not getting that much in reciprocal. No. It's a, f a quarter of that. It's like so every $5, it's, we get one. Yeah. It's not, not worth it. But play the chess. Play the game. Start making India. Bring in these big companies and start made in India. Made in India. Yeah. Yeah. Um, make it so that everybody wants to buy it's good quality we know this you know good products you just modi's opening the doors do it support yeah. him on this this is the time this is the time politically economically this is when you you're gonna hit them hard um you know everything that you can do as a as a consumer do it if you make sure you check those labels make sure you check online do your best unless it's the only option and you need it do your best not to buy anything made in china yeah um you know we want india to be the next big thing and this is just our opinion this is our voice thank god for youtube it gives us the voice that we can share this in china not only does the government silence them but they don't have these options yeah and another thing is is when you start a war it's not the chinese communist party that started this virus that is on the border that is fighting for their lives it's the citizens that went to went to the camp and did this stuff right that had higher up people that were telling them what to do yeah not that that makes it okay but the Communist Party doesn't care about their people. So if Not you sling all. some guns and go running across the border and shoot a few people, the Communist Party doesn't give a crap. And then they're going to say, oh, India's starting the war. And we don't want that. No. We, it breaks our hearts to know those soldiers were killed and tortured. And, and China needs to pay. But, and they need to pay politically, economically, where it's going to hurt them the most. We yeah. need to break down this communist party. It's communist party, Because yeah. it's not the people. No, it's not. It's, it's not the, the communist people. party that are bending the rules, that are doing all this stuff. Mm -hmm. The lies. You know, Trump and, and they talked about, you know, not, not, not only not um, 
following agreements but not following patents and plus not letting people not in. letting people into for this coronavirus you know and and their people we've seen doctors being silenced we've seen other journalists being silenced they don't they've disappeared people disappear when they speak out they don't have youtube and facebook and twitter and all these things where you can let out your voice like we do here the second amendment and in india where you can let your voice be heard if you don't like what we're saying you can write it in the comments Comment all you want. or make a channel about how you hate the jan family yeah. i mean that's your freedom of speech and you should be able to say what you want to say you know if you're not hurting people we have always taught peace on this channel we don't always agree we love india we don't always agree on everything that's how family is yeah we don't always agree on everything you guys don't always agree with us that's okay you have a voice to write on our comments to send us an email and say i don't agree with that think about it this way that's what we want to hear this is the time to spread the voice you know and unfortunately the chinese people have no voice in this none at all and they should yeah so hopefully this using this political chess game to get at china will hopefully change stuff for the Chinese people as well. Hopefully yeah. it will open up. Hopefully China will, you know, take some responsibility and back off and and maybe let their people have a voice at some point. Um, you know, it, it's very much reminiscent of Hitler. Yeah. World War II and how, you know, once he got power, tried to spread the power and that's what China's trying to do. They feel like they have the power and, and they want to control the world into other countries they're pushing the limits they're not following the treaties they're bending the rules bending the rules you know they didn't come with guns when they were at the border so just you know we want everybody to have a voice and we want things to be fair like fair trade yeah um and that's how it should be we're not always going to agree on everything but that's how it should be um Getting back to uh, our mail video that we had, if you guys haven't seen it, we got a piece of mail from China and a piece of mail from India, and we kind of showed really you the difference. Tell the difference. Huge differences, and we know that huge difference between China and India. You know, India is such a welcoming country, and China is the Communist Party. So huge huge differences but a lot of you made some nice comments supporting us um we are going to keep you posted the police um are going to get back to us and we're going to take it down to the station and um start an investigation so yeah um, we'll keep you posted on that and um but thanks for all your support thanks for subscribing and being part of our family and like we said in the comments below agree or agree to disagree with us um, and let us know what you guys think um, that we should do about China but this is how we see it in the US it finally seems like there's some light being shed um, on on how we can work together with India and, and yeah. hopefully um, get some answers for the world so I hope you guys like this. And subscribe if you haven't already. And join our wonderful Jan family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.